The second question, which everybody has different opinions on this topic is, are there junior full stack or backend uh, <laughs> developer jobs? And the reason why I say this is because the scope of what a full stack developer is, because it does touch database and DevOps, or if you're like a just complete backend developer, the amount of like stuff you do with database, that communication and troubleshooting issues and deployment, which is such a huge topic that I feel like realistic expectation, in my opinion, is that I would always recommend go for front end, get hired first, and then make a transition because I think getting a full stack junior role or full stack, I mean, or back end junior role, it's not a thing, I think. And let me know if I'm completely wrong or uh, missing some information here. Yeah, it probably is. A, I'm not sure if it's a coincidence. Uh, I'm writing an article now. The article title says "Full Stack is a Joke." Okay, <laughs> I, and, and it also says "Never Mind." Okay, so uh, why I'm writing this article because many, if if you write like what comes to your mind when you hear the term "Full Stack," I just tweeted something, and I got tons of reply, which only it's so... gives a lot of memes. Uh, people yeah. are like, you know, very hilarious replies and things like that, and. See, that is probably the funny side, but the sad side of story is like the full stack, that word is sold very, very differently to different people. Okay. So if you are, if you are a junior engineer and you are so much oversold with the term full stack, I think you are probably doing something wrong to yourself. Yeah. Get a start, get a start with front end development or maybe the back end development, whatever it is like, get a stop, get into a job, then expand your wing and other areas. Yeah. Don't really try to be like that perfect full stack junior developer and aim to get hired you may get hired but you probably don't have to do that that's what yeah. my point is right so yeah I, I i'll be capturing some of these things in my upcoming article please do it oh, definitely yeah when you get it done um, i'll follow your blog too um definitely sh like hit me up share it i'll share it because i think it's a very good topic and i think anybody looking to break into the field don't overthink it start with front end and i found like my introduction to full stack like happen to go organically. So yep. like I, like while studying, I've done some Node projects, but I didn't like do Node and then like I'm a full stack developer now. I still like, I'm, I'm a front end developer. That's what I applied for. And then over time, I, like I use Strapi CMS, which to me is like the easiest way to set up an API because I'm so comfortable with it. So I'm able to build like full stack applications without being a full stack developer. Because one of the things that I like is from the standpoint is like, if I were to build a website for a client what's the easiest tech that i could do because i really right. believe in standing on the shoulders of giants so for me i don't even have to know a lot but what's interesting about interacting with a cms is that i got to see how they uh, structured their back end and over time i started getting more into like node.js and koa and it's been like a very uh natural organic transition as i was learning new things but i've never like set out like let me be a full stack developer and if i did i don't think i would have got hired as quickly as I did, because I feel like it's too much and it's such a wide definition um, of things. And actually, I'm going to tell you, I don't know if this is your experience, full stack uh, interview uh, or back end interview questions are way harder than front end. I'm just <laughs> saying that right now. Uh, so if you want to save yourself frustration and you're looking to break into the industry quickly, start with front end.